Concord, one of the bulkest and stupidest games that is by divine intervention, thankfully already six feet under. But could Concord have a chance if it actually had appealing character designs instead of a Vogue diarrhea? Let's see. Hey everyone, this is Critical Art 64, and today I'm going to redesign some characters. Understandable gameplay. From the mega flop Concord, a game with character design. Oh god, just 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 look at this fat, old, and god knows what. Uh, I have ADHD, and I'm not hiding it. I'm embracing it because uh, hashtag whatever. Jesus Christ. And Michael Jackson Jackson when he was black. And there's a, also a black version of Michael Jackson, but female for some goddamn reason. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I just don't. Designs so dull and unappealing that the game died within a week. This game seems to have followed the Cartman school of design. Put a ticket in, make a name and gag! And I think Accurate. I could do a better job. Eh. So uh, what I'll do is break down. Okay, wow. Like, listen. How do you make this when it's so easy to make this? Okay, listen. Would you be interested in playing a game that had this, or this, or this? Now, listen, boys. You know what's up, but uh, I'm kind of, I'm, you know, it is what it is. I, I would want to play this just, just by these designs alone down the designs a little bit, explain my concept sketches, and show what a render of my design would look like in 3D animation. I decided to start off with the three most visible characters, Baz, Amari, and Daw. Uh, Two of them are visible because they are fat and take most space. Uh, looks like I have my work. This one's visible because she is hilarious. If you, if you pay close attention, you can see a knife in her hand. But in-game, it looks like she's just killing you with white guilt accusations. Because you can't see anything. It's just like, bam, bam. And there, there you go. White guilt that cut out for me. Um, this cast looks like a bad Guardians of the Galaxy cosplay. Uh, like they're in a movie called Modern. Bro, listen, that even looks better. This is horrible, though. I want to close my Pictures eyes. of the solar system. Uh, first up is ah, Daz. Still bad. That's right. That's right. Ah, they even gave her an epic voice line. You know what's my favorite part about this disaster, by the way? It's the it's the goddamn fact that the artists behind Cor Concord came out and said, Oh, we couldn't make better designs because the CEO told us not to. Bro, the CEO probably doesn't even know what the game is about. Listen, stop lying. You're just a bad artist and you should feel bad, and you're trying to deflect your lack of skill, lack of understanding, and absolute wokeness and complete mental derangement on the fact that people are mean to you and you, they're racist, they're bigots, and they're all of those typical things. It sort of looks like if Thugnificent from the Boondocks had an ant who hunts blackulas. Or Still looks better than her. Wow, he's actually pulling it off. Jesus. Or if Whoopi Goldberg played Morpheus in The Matrix. Whoopi Goldberg is probably playing Morpheus in the future Matrixes. If you think she looks kind of mannish, uh, that is not a mistake. It is because she is, in fact, based on a transvestite singer. You can go ahead and look that up. Uh, and it gets worse. This is information I could have definitely lived in without. Um... You know, and, and her weapon is knives, so she, she throws knives and does, like, flippy-doos. Uh, nothing about does. her design suggests that. Uh, it's very bulky. Uh, she's wearing... Yeah, that's true. Like, y when you look at this uh, character, what do you think she's doing? Is she just some rando yelling in the store, demanding the manager, but secretly it's not even a store, it's a telephone pole, and she's just high? Probably more than an actual person that even moves on a regular basis. Shoes that look like boots designed to play basketball in. Not very good for running. And, you know, the, the small glasses and, and the big hair are very unflattering to the face. I 
love the fact that her head is uh, double colored because you know now just just having purple hair is obviously not enough. And I love the fact that when you fail the design of glasses, when you're so bad at art that you literally fail the most basic thing in the world, aka glasses. Face it doesn't do anything to help. Uh, the man face. Uh, if, if to ladies out there, if your face looks like this, you you'll want to have a, a hairdo that frames the face a little bit better, and and you might want to wear bigger glasses to kind of make things look smaller in, in relation. That's actually good advice. Now give me the same advice, but for my dick. I here's my concept sketch. Now this is wow. This is a lot better instantaneously, and notice. It's a lot hotter, obviously. The face, uh, by the way, the face now looks uh, looks absolutely yeah. This this is what we want in life, you know. I I would say ditch the jacket. I, I would honestly say do a full redesign, but this is not obviously how artists do things. And for an improvement, this is probably the absolute best that we can even get. Uh, anything but a full redesign probably is not gonna cut it. This is already amazing compared to what we really have. And it's good. I like it. Actually one of the better designs in Concord. So I kept most of the ideas. Uh, first I cropped her coat. I cropped her coat. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me someone actually designed this? No, wait, no. He, th there's no way. Am I misunderstanding something? Well, anyway, if someone imagine someone in Concord actually designs this right here, man, they probably got fired on the spot. They probably were escorted out of the building by damn security. Woo! So I kept most of the ideas. Uh, first, I cropped her coat. I cropped her coat because she has. Oh wow! And in three D, wait, in three D, it actually looks so much better than just a sketch. Well, a sketch is a sketch. But, oh wow, in 3D, uh, in 3D, this is actually selling me a lot. I wonder why. I wonder why. Dr. Cope, because she has such you know big why. shoulder pads, and when you exaggerate something, you kind of want to take away from somewhere else to create a sense of balance. It also makes her look less cumbersome, and I made her shoes more like running shoes to show that she is much more agile. Yeah, I should have put high heels on that. Would have been nice just saying you know just saying hey boys listen i'm all up I, i'm all for efficiency and all of that garbage but listen listen child character and that she would use blades and uh i would have it to where like her gloves can like charge the blades with like kinetic energy so she could just shoot them like ballistic knives you know i, I feminized the face and made her design more sleek uh, to make it more obvious that she's an acrobatic knife. <laughs> to make it more obvious that that's a woman, baby. Knife thrower. I imagine her being like a sassy bounty hunter. Wait, I, but again, someone needs to comment because I don't understand it. This is his, right? This is not actually something that someone at Concord originally designed and thought that this could be it, right? This is him. Eh, I'm confused. It must be, because there's no way, right? And more sleek, uh, to make it more obvious that she's an acrobatic knife thrower. I imagine her being like a sassy bounty hunter. Here's the before and after. <laughs> can I, can I just remove the before? Actually, this kind of works. I don't know <laughs> about you guys. I don't want to see the I before. So that's one down. Uh, next up is Amari. And okay, I'm not gonna lie. You can't say fat, okay? Fat, fat, fat is fat. There's, listen, the first one, ten out of ten. But there's no way, okay? There's, there's no way. Uh, she sort of looks, she sort of looks like. It listen, boys, I have told this story before, but I will tell it again. There was this one time my dick didn't work, and you know why? Well, I was in the city, and I was at a thing. And, well, I was kind of horny, and there was this girl. And she was not this big, but way bigger than I would e ever actually accept. I was slightly drunk. She didn't, didn't, don't know, don't care, was probably not drunk at all. And a hotel 
was nearby. When she removed her clothing, I just, I, I just, I just could not. Not, nothing, nothing happened. Literally, nothing happened. I, I looked at myself. I looked at her, and I literally felt that there is no way in living hell that it's happening. It's just not, not a thing. It's never happening. I, I could feel disappointment from down, down under. Okay, listen. It is what it is. If the guy who made Hamilton uh, made a stage play about the Ninja Turtles. Uh, and casted um, uh, Lizzo. Um, <laughs> or if the juggernaut is the red Eminem, she is the green one. And uh, with her voice, That's some good. have called her uh, Fat Alberta. I got you. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. That actually is Fat Albert. Wow. It's Fat Albert. Uh, here's my concept. I call her a Okay, that's better. But uh, but again, you see what I mean? There's no saving fat. That's just reality, okay? Listen, you can lie to yourself, but there's no saving it, okay? Deal with it. Captain Amari. And by the way, how did that experience end? Uh, I told her, well, it's not happening. Don't you, don't worry. I was nice, by the way. I said, don't worry. It's me. It's not you. I think that made her feel burst, by the way, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> because I honestly, when I said it, I, I, she, she had the look that this is not the first time something like that has happened. Okay, I'm gonna be completely, brutally and bluntly honest. She, she did not have an expression like, wow, this is unexpected. Now, uh, she had an expression, yeah, this has already happened before, I know the story. Because the name Amari is uh, too soft and forgettable for a tank, so the word captain has some good consonants in it. It kind of helps. There's no way this is not Judge Dredd inspired slightly and Megalo boxing inspired slightly, okay? Make it sound a little more punchy. Uh, I imagine her being... And by the way, currently, he's doing a really good job selling me the idea that she can use a Gatling gun. Not because it creates a lot of vibrations, which makes sense and we call all, all kind of want, but, 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 because she has, you know, uh, obviously, uh, what is this, a cyber skeleton or something like that? What, what's this called? An exoskeleton? Yeah. Like a seven foot tall super soldier from Africa? Kind of like if there was like a, a new Carthage empire and she's like a peacekeeper. Um, here's kind of what a render would look like. Uh, I do like... Uh, the render's not bad, but yeah, the first render is way better, I gotta say. It's not bad. It's Obviously, it's an improvement. I like the sketch more than the render currently. Hmm, interesting. It's not... Oh, the, actually, the Gatling gun looks terrible. Uh, the Gatling gun looks kind of plain. It looks like a giant dilt, though. Hmm. It does, actually, huh? Do like the juxtaposition of battle armor and makeup. So to show her femininity, I kept the lipstick, but I changed the shape. To show her femininity, he added lipstick, boys. Yeah, he added lipstick. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's it. He added lipstick. I believe that. And uh, something a little less ridiculous. And I gave her a, like a lacy bra. So you see the juxtaposition. Yeah, that, that works better, honestly. That works that, that That's pretty good. There. Um, <gasps> here's the before and after. And as you can see, I moved away from the big bulky armor and went with more of like... Dude, how listen, it's not the armor that's bulky, okay? Our enhancement arms and legs. Like maybe her skin's kind of partially bulletproof since she's like an experimental super soldier but uh last but certainly not least is daw he looks like if ned from spider-man went on a ski he i mean there's literally no telling it probably doesn't know what it is because he, he there's nothing to see he tripped to gay mountain um they gave my guy a, a girl face like they wait this is wait 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 wait, wait. i thought that this is a girl I was under the impression, honestly, always that this is a girl. Huh. Give him girl face proportions and like okay. the craziest fupa I've ever ah, seen. Ah. He's, he's visually grotesque. Um, 
That's putting it lightly, my dude. That's that's being nice. You know, as a brown guy, this is very upsetting. You know that we now are in a climate where you know you can't have a prominent character that's Latin or please, please Latinx. Let's be inclusive here because everyone loves the term Latinx. Ain't that right, Bendejo? Black or ah. Asian, and you know. You, no, Asians are bad. Okay. Think you're gonna get some cool designs, but. You know, they always throw in all this weird shit on top of it, and, and, and it's a real bummer. So here's my concept. Uh, first, the name Daw is just so boring and forgettable, so mine is named... Mr. D. Mr. Daw probably also makes sense. But that could have been but also very funny. Mr. D is... I like Mr. Daw probably better, even though it sounds like there's autism involved there, okay? And when I say that, the jumbo suit doesn't help. But this is an actual legitimate design. Even though it looks like he's a hobo from America. Which does make sense. But in any case, why he's in Concord and a hero. But in any case, this is a lot better. This is a way a lot, obviously. But yeah, again, I'm still kind of surprised that that was a man. <laughs> like Mr. D. Which sounds kind of like a cholo name. Like, he'd be all, Hey, check that out, my name is Mr. D, fool. You know, something. Okay, now he's selling it properly. Like that. Uh, you know, maybe he's a little bit chunky. He eats his tortas, he eats his tortillas, <laughs> you know. He's kind of a heavy, a little bit. Ah, this is okay. I get it. I can, I can understand this. Definitely not my favorite, but, you know. Again, I don't think anything can do justice after honestly seeing how good this could have been uh, to anything else in comparison. I don't know how you would uh, move around if you were that fat. I mean, all you got to do to like not be that fat is just like not drink soda or eat cupcakes or bread. I mean, it's pretty easy. But, you know, I imagine this guy, he, he kind of looks like he's a big shit talker. and Looks like filthy prank. Yeah, it looks like Filthy Frank. Mr. Franku. <laughs> That's even better. And like a, maybe he's like a smuggler. In the original design, he has like a big weird looking uh, healing pack. It's like a big pizza. So uh, I, I replace it with a uh, first aid box connected to a big boom box. Maybe he can like play it for psychological warfare. Maybe he's really good at taunting people. Warfare. Or if you can like leave the that is a funny take. boom box somewhere to like trick people into thinking you're in a different spot on the map or something. Um, and as you can tell from the before and after, uh, mine is way cooler. Um, that is for sure. And now the idea that that's filthy Frank is selling me this a lot. The weapon looks also kind of decent. It, it's a good mix between an AK and an actual kind of futuristic thing. Now, people who understand guns are probably going to tell me I'm retarded, and that's fair. I don't, I don't know a lot about guns, okay? But this does actually also sell me about the idea that this is kind of the future, at least. The, the giant Gatling dildo definitely was not a, a good choice. I, I Again, good art, but... Listen. Listen, okay? Straight that you can make cool diverse characters without making them lame or gay i mean you could just look at deadlock which is another hero shooter that uh deadlock does not by the way intentionally try to even be diverse they they just make kooky characters if you play dota you know that all the characters are strange and kooky to begin with anyway so the fact that these characters are also that but even more extreme it just makes sense. It's just a Valve thing, honestly. It has a lot of diversity, and those designs are great. I mean, it's kind of crazy to do mediocre designs for a hero shooter. I mean, th this follows the same principles of fighting game. The characters have to be appealing on first glance. I mean, what kind of people are they hiring to do these designs? Uh, these kinds of people, probably, I would assume. I mean, I'm not... Hey, that Jesse, Jesse Cox, that's hilarious. Did he go completely woke or something? Honestly, I, I would... Uh, well, I, I'd believe it. Not even a professional artist. I, I work in, like, finance and tech. 
But you know, hey, if they if they need someone to consult on, you know, whether a game is lame or not, uh, they can reach out to me. Okay, definitely best, definitely second best, and Mister Franku. Dude, okay. Now the filthy Frank pot is selling me so hot on this. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and the battle dildo is nice to think about. In any case, that was that was good. But anything Concord is hilariously bad, so I guess that's it. In any case, Critical Art 64, 10 out of 10, bye!